Now, tomorrow, the APC will go back and reconduct or conclude its governorship primary. The PDP will also stage its own conduct tomorrow uh, to elect the governorship candidate, the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party. In the midst of all of this, there are those who are aggrieved, the aspirants who are not happy. There are those who say that everything has been skilled. It's a situation of answer to question and being walked back. And uh, look, there are a lot of issues. Uh, let, let's get to know what is happening in the PDP. I'm being joined tonight by Anthony Azegbemi, who is the PDP chairman in Edo State. He joins us virtually from Benin City. Thank you so much, Chairman Azegbemi, for joining us tonight. Thank you, Shil. Um, how would you describe your preparations ahead of tomorrow? Super. What do you mean by super? We are prepared. Everything has been put in place for us to have a seamless primary tomorrow. When the you say everything, uh, can you describe to us because there are concerns which I'd like to raise with you tonight as to how ready the party is, although that those who believe that uh, the, the, the burden of conducting this is on the NWC. But at those who are accusing you directly, some of these issues I will raise with you tonight. So when you say you're fully ready, everything, what do you mean by everything, Chairman? Okay. When I say everything is ready for the primaries tomorrow, the National Working Committee has a panel sent in from Abuja to come and conduct the primary election. We've secured the Ogbemutia Stadium to have the primary. We've secured the Edo Hotel to have the accreditation. That is what I, that is what I mean when I say we are ready. The delegates are on their way to Benin as we speak. That is what I mean when I say we are ready. The security agencies are on ground to make sure that the peace in the state is not hampered with. That is what I mean when I say we are ready. Oh, oh good. So you're conducting an indirect primary. You're using the indirect, indirect primary mode tomorrow. We are using 594 delegates for tomorrow's primary. As you, as you are aware, the delegates were elected earlier, on the 4th of February and on the 10th of February. In a disputed Congress. Those are your words, but that's not the words of majority of Those are the of words the of your members, members of your party. The deputy governor is, uh, is unhappy with it. Um, uh, the likes of uh, uh, the, the former chairman of the APC who wanted to run and unhappy, nine of the aspirants say that those at uh, co uh, the Congress were skewed. Okay. Um, as a party, we have the guidelines for the conduct of Congresses. There's a provision for appeals after the Congress. These aspirants, I'm aware, went to the appeal panel after the Congress. That appeal panel was headed by His Excellency, Syriaki Dixon. The appeal panel wrote a report, which is sent to the National Working Committee, upholding the results of the Congress held on the 4th of February. There was it, uh, an appeal panel after the national delegate election. The, the, one, the national delegate won the local government uh, uh, con uh, Congress. There was an appeal panel after that Congress. That appeal panel also upheld the results both of the, headed by His Excellency uh, 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 Gabriel Suswa. All these panels upheld the results of the elections, of the Congresses. So in my, in my, in my opinion, once the AP panel upholds those results, those, AP, those, those panels reports were sent to the NWC 
the NWC sat and ratified the delegate list for Edo State. That is what I mean that we are ready. So if if you if an aspirant feels that all these appeal panels, all the panels that came into Benin, um, are not satisfied with it, well, I I I I, I get it, but the, the 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 law will have to take its course as 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 they say. Are you able to reconcile leaders of the party who are aggrieved after the Congress going into these primaries? We will never be tired of talking to our members. These are all dedicated, committed members of the party. I can tell you that before free because I know. Is it the deputy governor? Is it Anselm? Is it uh, Felix? All of them. They're all my friends. After this, after the primary tomorrow, the process of reconciliation is not ending. We will continue to preach peace, to preach reconcil reconciliation amongst all of us. Because we need to be together for us to win the 21st of September elections. So on my part, on the part of the governor, and we will continue to talk to these our colleagues, to our friends, to our brothers and sisters, so that once a, a candidate emerges tomorrow, all of us, we rally around him and make sure that we deliver him uh, on the 21st of September. That seems to so be the problem, uh, Mr. Azegbemi, because the allegation is that you are working for Governor Obaseki to skew, the allegations are said, to skew the primaries of tomorrow. They said that you guys are working from answer to a question. How are you able to convince them otherwise? It's, it's difficult to change somebody's mind, more so the mind of an adult. But what I can tell you is that the Congresses were conducted in line with the party guidelines. If any aspirant can come up and show me and give me an evidence, concrete evidence, that Chairman, you did A, B, C, D, and clearly that will favor Mr. One of the aspirants. If I hear, if I have that concrete evidence, then we can, we can have a conversation. But what I'm telling you is that with all these appeals sitting and upholding the, 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 the results of those congresses, in my opinion, and, and, and just to say this too, those congresses, we are the best organized in this country. No other party has been able to do what we did. No. So, so how many people are going into this race tomorrow? We have 10 aspirants. Um, 10, 10, 10 of them are going into this race tomorrow. Including uh, the man uh, you said to be working for? Cheung. Why are you putting words into my mouth? Who am I working for? I'm working for the party. Is your friends in your party that are saying you're working for a candidate? I'm telling you that I'm working for the party. I mean, going from here tomorrow, there must be a winner in that race out of the over 500 delegates that will march to the stadium tomorrow uh, to vote for your party flag, Diara. Whichever way this goes tomorrow, how does or how do you hope as a leader of the party in the state to be able to unite the party? Because it does look like the center is no longer holding in a those state a PDP. As we speak, meetings are ongoing. People are talking to some of these aspirants. And hopefully, everybody, everybody will be on board for this, after this primary, before this primary, during this primary, and after this primary. And it's my job to continue, to continue on that path. How involved is Governor Godwin Abaseki in this process, in this reconciliation process? It has to be involved. He's talking to he's talking to some of the aspirants. I'm aware of that. He's Is he talking support. to his deputy? Uh, I don't have the details of that, uh, but I do know he has spoken to some of the aspirants. Well, let's look at it. Uh, there's been eight years of Governor Godwin Abaseki in the saddle, and uh, there are those who are criticizing, especially in the opposition, uh, uh, in a state who said, "Look, the state is in a mess, governance-wise." 
I mean, as the leader of the party, as the chairman of the PDP in Edo State, how do you talk to the people? Uh, for them to believe that you have what it takes uh, to, to fix what is going on in Edo State, they say that your party had run the state aground. Cheo, I will read out some facts for you, and I challenge anybody to contradict them. Number one, Edo State is the only state in this, in this country that pays 40,000 minimum wage. That salary goes into people's account on the 25th, 26th of every month. Pensions and gratuities are paid as at, as at when due. The GDP of Edo State has risen from 11 billion in 2016 to 25 billion in 2023. The private sector investment alone, local investment in Edo, we are talking, we are talk, I'm talking about things like the Dofield, the, the Dofield uh, uh, farms, I'm talking of the Osomo power plant, the first in the state again, and the first in the country. I'm talking of uh, 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 the, the, level, the high level of security in the state. When large did you hear of kidnapping in the state? We're talking of the more than 1,500 kilometers of road done in the state. We're talking of the Edo Best Program, which has been adjudged to be the best education policy ever made in this country. I can just go on and on and on, but clearly, Edo State, under the PDP-led administration of these past four years, we have never, never Do you, do you so know good. what your position uh, uh, say about uh, uh, your principal, the governor? They say that uh, he's a governor of memorandum, of understanding, MOU. What MOU do you say? If you are saying this, uh, I mean, how do you convince the people in Edo State who believe otherwise? MOU otherwise? MOU led to Osama Power Plant. Is Osama, is Osama Power Plant, can you feel it? Can you see it? Yes. MOU led to Edo Best Education Policy. And the children, the more than 320,000 children, can they feel it? Can they see it? Yes. MOU led to um, the, the Dofield uh, 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 farms, where you have the, 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 the more than 200,000 hectares of land uh, with palm oil, with palm trees. You can imagine what, what that would turn to in another three, four, five years. The MOU led to it. MOU led to the Gilegele, the, the beneath seaport, which has made up, we, we now have a preferred uh, bidder to, 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 to drive that process. Without an MOU in this century, is I, I imagine that uh, if you don't plan, you cannot get this done. So it's okay so, to call the governor an MOU governor. Is that what you're saying? You are right to say that because if we do this methodologically, we 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 do it with plan in hand. That's what an MOU is. You cannot just come into a place and do and start a project without an MOU. No. Yeah, let's wrap this up, uh, Mr. Azegbemi. How difficult do you think it will take to convince the people of Edo State to vote PDP in the coming election this year? I imagine it will be so, so easy because we have so many things to point to that this governor has done for the state. And we challenge any anybody in any political party to show us what they have done for the state. It's, 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 it's one thing to say um, the governor has not done anything, it's an MOU governor, but I just told you a few things that he has done. And there are many of them. So for us, we are waiting for the campaigns. The campaigns All will right. start on the, 20, on the 24th of April. All right. We'll go to, we'll go to town, we'll, go to, we'll knock on people's doors, we'll make sure we we'll get our message across. And by the grace of God, Edo people will buy into our message and vote PDP on the 21st of September. All right, because uh, sometimes uh, there are a lot of rumors in politics, but uh, since that you are, you're talking to us tonight, because they say that you're working for Aswe Godalo, 
Is that right? Is that the, is that true? Cheo, I'm working for the party. I want the 594 delegates to choose the best for the party. You think Aswe is the best? Is that what you're saying? I am not saying Aswe is the best. I'm saying the delegates will choose the best. You don't think Aswe the is the best for your party? All of them are good. All the 10 aspirants are good. Including the deputy governor. And all the 10 of them are good. Any one of them that the delegates choose tomorrow will win any other person that, that comes on board from any other party. All right. Anthony Azeg Bemi is the chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. I wish you and your friends and your party the very best tomorrow. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you, Sheryl. I appreciate it. Thank you.